Hey guys, Thunderset here bringing you the secret deck I'm using in the second qualifier stage of the KCGT, that's the Grand Tournament, and it's Goki, so it's a balanced way to play. It's what I think is the best way to probably play them. I've shown you a few, I have a few more in the pipes ready to show you, but I think this is the best. Where Look at how terrifying this deck is, guys. Nothing but super rare and ultra rares. The super rares are brand new. So this is a very, very expensive deck. It is not free to play, free to play, free to play friendly. It's very expensive, very new, but it's very strong. We're utilizing balance. That way our spells are always protecting us from back row, guys. Look at this. Dark Magician does not stand a chance because we're always going to have something to hate on their magical circle. Magical circle is nothing to this deck. And then we have the best traps in the game. Ballista Squad is really a good trap in the game when you're utilizing its tribute as instead of a cost, it's now a benefit. Works out really, really well, making it a very good trap, giving you tons and tons of options. Then, of course, Fiendish Chain, you know, I think this is the best trap in the game. And, of course, Floodgate is right there. I'd say right behind Fiendish Chain, just because you can top deck a Fiendish Chain and get an out to anything. While if you top deck a Floodgate Trap Hole, you might still lose. So, uh, other than that, guys, basic Twist Cobra Suprex. We don't get fancy with any hand traps. We're going straight with Riscorpio to add the filler. He's a 2300 beater, something this deck really needs. So you're not just blowing through all your twist cobras so, so quick. Now, this deck can handle any matchup. It'll handle level augment Shiranui. It'll handle Dark Magician. It'll handle Cyber Dragons, all that stuff, guys. It's, it's clapping up. It's what I'm gonna run in the first stage. All very, very good stuff. So, uh, hope you guys enjoy the replays. I did manage to get some replays. I used a little trick. If you save replays against standard duelists, the replay is normal. And I saved that replay, kept that replay, and then throughout the replays, they were being normal. The replays would save normal and play normal as long as I kept that auto duel replay. And then the moment I deleted the auto duel replay, it did the replay reversed. So I'm seeing my opponent, but you can still see through the whole replay. So Konami just has so many problems with the replays they should make me a dev because i'm pretty much figuring out all the interactions for them but uh yeah pretty crazy so i do have some replays very interesting but uh very strong deck it's what i'm running in the kc cups so uh maybe i'll stream it a little too who knows we'll see hope you guys enjoy and thanks for watching okay here we are versus yami yugi i mean in this tournament you're only gonna see like the straight up meta decks so it's gonna be Nothing but meta, but that's all this deck does, is react to the meta and just put out monsters that can virtually swing over anything when their full combo is out like this with the Twist Cobra and all that support. So we have a Forbidden Lance, gonna eat up this Dark Magician. We also have a Floodgate. Floodgate's not the most useful card against the Dark Magician, but it's all about those Forbidden Lances and Cosmic Cyclones. So here we get a Belisa Squad. This scumbag is running treacherous in a Dark Magician deck. That's about as degenerate as it gets. So, what did we do? We chained our Forbidden Lance, we chained our Twist Cobra, tribute the Twist Cobra, Forbidden Lance, the Suprex, add the damage onto the Suprex, 2600, we're still swinging. We get a search another Suprex, getting rid of that Twist Cobra, and we swing for a good old 2600 damage. Couldn't stop the attack there, so we had no choice but to activate his destiny draw. Here he, in the end phase, he utilizes his navigation. Probably would have been a little better to wait till his turn. That way my Forbidden Lance would have wore off and he could have Dark Magical circled my Suprex. But now he will try and fail because I do have that Forbidden Lance effect still on me. I'm gonna Floodgate one of the Dark Magicians because that's really the best Floodgate's gonna do for this deck outside of hitting a Dark Calvary. But uh, our boy does not go for a Dark Calvary, he just searches another Magician's Rod, searches Magic Expanded, wants to just set up another, uh, another, what is it, uh, Navigation, I don't know, sorry I was getting a text. So Suprex, this effect goes off for the Twist Cobra, Wombo Combo, we get the Suprex and the Twist Cobra right back out. He has a little, uh, Magician's Rod there in attack position. We get another Forbidden Lance, guys! So even if he tries to Dark Magical Circle us again, we're gonna Forbidden Lance out of it. Here he uses, uh, 
illusion magic to get rid of his rod. So what we're gonna do, we're gonna chain our forbidden lance to the Dark Magician, knowing full well he's gonna use his Magician's Navigation. And then to the Navigation, we're gonna chain the Belisa Squad. We get rid of the Twist Cobra, destroy the Dark Magician, while he adds a Dark Magician to his hand. Twist Cobra's effect goes off, it's another Suprex, guys. Look at us go, just constantly utilizing those resources. So that's most likely a Dark Magic Expanded, as we saw him draw. He gets another Dark Magical Circle, which is an absolute brick for him now, because we know that's a Dark Magic Expand. We normal summon our Suprex, Special Summon, our boy Riscorpio, Swing over a Dark Magician for a brick, and the top tier. Great, great stuff, guys. Alright, here we are facing a Bones. Let's see what Bones got for us. We're going first. This deck has first and second turn plays. It has the whole shebang. We're using balance, obviously. That's Suprex and Twist Cobra, Cosmic Cyclone, and Floodgate. Like, what more can you ask for from a hand, guys? What more can you ask for? We set our whole hand. It's all on the field. What more can we do? I love decks like that where you just leave everything on the field. Here we're fighting another Shira Nui. Not an optimal start with him, starting with a Spirit Master. But uh, he does do the 6. Bones obviously does not have level Aug, so he has to go straight into a Samurai Saga. I'm not afraid of a Samurai Saga, so I don't Floodgate him. I'm gonna hit that back row in the battle phase though. It was a Canadia. This boy don't know Gokis. He may know Shira Nui and maybe that's it, but he don't know Gokis. So Twist Cobra is gonna eat the Suprex, hit this boy as he's trying to attack into us, search the Scorpio in doing so, and then hit this boy for such a casual lethal. We even have Forbidden Lands and Floodgates to fall back on. We were still swinging, guys. Great, great stuff. Okay, sorry for starting late. We're facing a Grit Jaden with 22 cards in the boys' deck. We're starting with the Riscorpio and our boy Twist Cobra. We have Forbidden Lands to protect us from whatever that back row is. We're starting with the Riscorpio because he's the big boy. It's a uh, Food Summoning Karibo. We also have a Belisa Squad and a Floodgate. So, I mean,. We're just falling out of control right now, guys. We're ready for any field. We're gonna swing into a Karibo effect. Now our boy normal summons a Keeper of Dragon Magic. Throws away a Crimson Fox. Now he's using Neo's Fusion. Brings out that Brave Neos. So brave. We're gonna Floodgate the Neos. I can't really follow up, has no back row to scare us off, and look who shows up from the top of the deck. It's our boy Suprex. That means we're getting even more monsters out. Swinging over that Keeper of the Dragon Magic. And guess what, guys? Same way I was talking about that Sun Saga being flipped face down. If you have a Neos flip face down, he's not going to get that Neos fusion. So this boy, out of nowhere, hits us with the Lava Golem. Probably thinking he's pretty clever, but he's about to see... That Lava Golem's just going to serve as fuel for our Ballista squad. So here he's using another Flute, searching another Karibo, thinking he's real, real safe. But now he used the Ballista squad in his end phase, destroy that Neos with his own Lava Golem. Another Ballista squad just for good measure. We lost those two monsters to a Lava Golem, but you gain their search, which means we have a Suprex and a Scorpio right back in our hand. Swinging for lethal over Karibos, just complete control of the duel, guys. Absolutely great stuff. Okay, here's a Zane. I'm still seeing tons and tons and tons of Cyber Dragon in this uh, tournament. I was considering Cyber Dragons. I started a little bit with um, Favorite Hero, obviously, but everyone was so ready for that with Cosmic Cyclones and stuff. Which, you know, Cosmic Cyclones is the most popular card in the game. But, uh,. Then I went to Black Wings, but I mean, Black Wings are boring as dirt. So uh, I went to this deck, and it has been working out, so I'm feeling it. Here, our opponent is Luna Light with Zane for some reason. Throws away his fusion card to uh, gain one. Very weird play. Now he uses the Spear Boy to stop our Suprex, but Quist, or Quist, Twist Cobra can't finish him right off. We also have a Floodgate, Forbidden Lance. Cosmic Cyclone, another backup Floodgate. Boy's got a Kite Roid, but he takes the 1600 to bring his life points all the way down to 2k. 
Now he's gonna summon that Emerald Bird all over again. Throws away another Lunalite Fusion. That really, it's like you've blown two of your three. How are you gonna do your fusions now? So he tries to swing his Emerald Bird into here. I use Forbidden Lance early in case he was trying to use Constraint Current or something, but I think he was just trying to scoop. Made it real easy for me. Great, great stuff, guys. Okay, guys, we actually get to see the clapping from the other end. Get to uh, witness me clap then from their point of view. Should be pretty interesting. So we're going first. This person is going second. Us over there have no extra deck. We get to see this boy's hands in decision making too. Actually pretty interesting. So he's obviously running level Og Shir Nui. I'll tell you what I have right now. I have some Cosmic Cyclones. I have Floodgates. I have everything I need on top of my Suprex and my Twist Cobra. So that's probably a Cosmic Cyclone right there. And that's probably my Floodgate right there. So our boy's gonna start off with his Squire. Special summon a Spectral Sword, try to level log it. I'm gonna totally let him do it. Now that Sun Saga is gonna get hit with the Floodgate, and the beauty of that, a face down Sun Saga is gonna get destroyed by Belisa Squad, guys. So here he's chaining a Forbidden Lance, also a card I have in my deck. Passes his turn because our Twist Cobra would protect us. Set more back row, end our turn. We don't have to swing into that boy. Here he's trying to use his Spectral Sword. Throwing away a Squire Saga, bringing out a Zombie Skull. Throws away his uh, Solitaire with a Squire effect after being banished. Then he brings out a Gozuki. We hit the Sun Saga with the Fiendish Chain. That way they can't really do anything. He can't protect his other Shiranui. And then we just swing over the Gozuki. Nice and easy there. Here we know he normal summons a level 2 tuner to bring out the Shogun Saga. He's gonna banish a 25, and that's gonna make us use our Belisa Squad in his battle phase. That lets him special summon, but you know, we got rid of our Suprex, that lets us search unless he uses his Divine Wrath. So we don't get our search. We're still pretty safe. Here's a Rescorpio. He top decks a Belisa squad and then sets a monster. We have our Scorpio now though, so he can freely swing, going crazy. Our boy's got a Belisa squad. He tries to hit the Twist Cobra. He could have just hit Fiendish Chain, would have probably been a way better target. But here he tries to hit the Twist Cobra, so we just use the Twist Cobra to get our Scorpio over that Sun Saga. A Fiendish Chain Sun Saga cannot protect himself from destruction. So he's done for. Here he uses another uh, Spectral Sword. We're gonna Floodgate that Hades though, so no problem. Brings out a Squire, but obviously 1500 monsters isn't gonna do much, even with that Sphere Boy in hand. So great, great stuff. It's cool to see myself as the enemy, guys, but uh, what a deck. This is easily probably the best way to play Gokis, and as you can see, People aren't really sure how to play against Gokis, so that's a big advantage in a tournament when people have to learn how to play against you while they're playing against you. It's a big advantage. I've been utilizing it. I'm going to see how many duels I'm able to get. I won't be able to play the final day and uh, stuff like that, but uh, we'll see how far I get. I'll let you guys know, obviously, and hope you enjoyed the video. Thanks for watching.